this is the top line on the bill. What we're trying to do is reduce our over-reliance on property taxes to pay for K through 12 public education. We know as a state that we do a good job of funding our public schools, but we over-rely on property taxes, especially in rural Nebraska and our smaller schools. So we are, and it's difficult because we got 244 different school districts with almost 240 different levies, so it's difficult. But what we want to do is make sure we increase state aid, and for every dollar of state aid that comes into a school, their property taxes go down. So that's the goal. Keep the schools whole and provide property tax relief for every homeowner, rancher, farmer, and business owner in the state of Nebraska without harming our K-12 through public education. For the first time, every student in the state regardless of whether in Loop County or in Omaha or Tecumseh, we get foundation aid from the state. It starts, it starts about $600 a year, goes up to $1,200, and in the third year it would be $2,000. So no school in the state would not be getting funding for their students from the state. We have too many now that get very little funding from the state. I will tell you, it's, it's significant. It's, the governor has basically given us all the money he has extra, or it's not over and above what we thought. Um, but it's a starting place, it's not the end. It can't be the end. We are, we are way in the hole on property taxes in the state. We depend too much on them. And not just through K-12 schools, but you look at our community colleges, NRDs, everything is relying on property taxes. It's just become too much of a burden for Nebraskans. I've got a chart that I'm using. Between 2008 and 2018, valuations statewide went up 80%, levies dropped 15%, so many, many taxing entities took advantage of that valuation growth, therefore our property taxes went up 50, over 53%. So imagine in 10 years a 53% income, or property tax increase, inflation over that same time was only 17%. So that means the taxing entities outspend inflation by over 30%. Also, if you look at Nebraskans' median household income it, since 2008, it is much more aligned with inflation rate than it is aligned with the increases in property taxes. So Nebraskans are generous. They want good schools. They want good community colleges. But we have, we have they can't afford it. It's just become unaffordable. I need people who are concerned about their property taxes to call their state senators and make sure that their state senator knows they are very concerned about the increases in their property tax bill and they need relief. Senators listen to phone calls, mail, and emails. And this is going to have to be a grassroots effort because this afternoon in our hearing we'll have plenty of people that come in that depend on property taxes and of course nobody likes change so it scares them. So we have to have the citizens of Nebraska, the first house, engage in this debate.